Okay, so I've been looking for a cheap variable power supply, and I ordered something off the internet. I think this is about $10. I think this is the, what I, the power supply. Let me get something else. Let's open it up and see what it is. Oh, well, uh, let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it is. It's a variable, I think it's uh, about 3 to 24 volts variable power supply. And, well, that's interesting. It looks like it comes with a UK connector because we have a an adapter to US. Okay, here's the box here. Adjustable power supply, EU plug. Okay. Oh, look at that. Very nice. We'll have to set this up and see how it works. I think it's fairly high current, too. I think it's like 2 amps or something. Output 24 volts, 2.5 amps. So you can get, uh, well, that's over 50 watts, right? If they're telling the truth about that. And you can plug it in if you go to Europe, too. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so here's our adapter. And let's check that out. Okay, that'll be great for some, uh, some of your do-it-yourself uh, home projects, right? Okay, so here we got our power supply. And uh, we got our adapter thing here. And we'll plug the European plug into that, so we can plug it into our power cord here. Oh, look at that, it turned on. It says 3.3 volts. Let's turn this on, so the voltmeter is reading the same thing. Let's, oh, I knocked it. Come on, really? I want, it to, want them both to be even. Okay, look at that. Okay, and here's our adjustment knob. And we should be able to turn it up to, that's kind of touchy. 14, 15, it looks like our voltmeter is reading about the same thing. Okay, 19, 20, oh, that's close. 24.4, 24.3, look at that. And I forget what this is. I think it was only about 10 or 15 dollars. I'll have to look that up again. But uh, this this should be a, a neat little thing for you do-it-yourself projects. If you want a variable power supply and you don't want to build it from scratch, you can buy really cheap crap from China. And uh, I'll have to test it out to see how it really works. They claim that it can put out two amps too, so that's a lot of power. A variable power supply. Usually variable power supplies are expensive, but this is this is cheap enough to stick in pretty much all your home projects. Anyway, okay, so I did t check the price and it looks like it, this power supply is a little bit less than ten dollars. And uh, so we have an amp meter hooked up here and I have it on the 10 amp scale and I have a tiny little electric motor here hooked up. And uh, just wanted to make sure it puts out the current because we already checked the voltage to make sure it was the same as what it reads. Oh, and there's the current. Looks like it's a tenth of an amp right now at 3.3 volts. I'm not sure if you can see that. And this motor's really spinning here. Got to keep the tape on there so it. Let's ramp it up a little bit. Okay, that's about a third of an amp. I don't want to burn out the motor, but... It's a half an amp right there. Okay, so it looks like it's putting out some power. I'm not testing it up to full power, because I'm pretty sure I'll destroy this motor. But it looks like the power supply is putting out a good amount of current as well. Okay. Anyway... This is uh, Dr. James, and thanks for watching.